Large software projects have a notorious reputation for costing too much and taking too long. It's estimated that $500 billion a year is wasted by organizations throughout the world on software projects that are either delayed or cancelled altogether. Common characteristics of this is long bug fixing periods and, and high levels of rework. And at the root cause of this, of many of these problems, are poor requirements. My name's Colin Hammond. I'm the founder of Scope Master and the creator of this tool uh, for use that uses natural language processing to analyze the text of software requirements or user stories as they're commonly termed in agile projects in order to drive quality and insight to help business analysts, product owners, and project managers be more successful and drive greater certainty with their software projects. Gartner recently identified seven areas where software projects could be enhanced by artificial intelligence. And Scope Master helps with five out of seven of these different areas. A common characteristic of a requirement is that they're actually getting shorter than they used to. Uh, and we use, as we use agile user stories to describe the functional requirement uh, of the user. And having analyzed a quarter of a million of these now, we have seen a pattern where each word of a user story ends up generating approximately 125 coding words or tokens. So a mistake or a miscommunication with one word gets significantly amplified. Accenture recently reported that they were seeing that they are seeing 35% of all defects found in production are caused by poor or incomplete requirements. This is a kind of tragic situation because most of the testing work that we do is to test that the code matches the requirements. But if the requirements themselves are wrong, we're not covering all of the quality concerns we need to. And this is where Scope Master comes in. Scope Master focuses on interpreting and driving quality in the requirements. And it has a knock-on virtuous impact on reducing the likelihood of documentation-based defects and bad fixes. It even helps a little bit with the design. So the contribution of Scope Master to improving and reducing the root cause uh, defects in production is non-trivial. Now, we don't find all of the defects in the requirements, but we'll find all the syntactical ones. And that's about half of everything there is to find. So how does it work? So we take a typical software requirement or user story. We concentrate on the foundation terminology, which is the functional intent or the functional user story. It's the who and the what of that uh, requirement. And when we designed the tool, we recognized that it was important to accommodate any phraseology, any taxonomy, uh, and to provide consistent and transparent results so that people could see what it was doing and, and trust on its reliable output and therefore use it for uh, uh, consistent measurement as well. We now accommodate uh, user stories written in different languages as well, as well as English, German, Portuguese, Italian, French, Spanish, and Dutch. A key characteristic of Scope Master is it requires no pre-training. So there's no training of, uh, a, a, of a model. Every time you put your requirements in, you will get the same result. So there's no, at this point in time, there's no machine learning. It just uses natural language processing and 15 other layers of uh, traditional uh, requirements analysis work that has been automated uh, on, on top of the natural language processing. When you take a set of user stories and put them into Scope Master, it automatically determines the functional intent or intents of each user story. It tests those stories against the specific guidelines of requirements engineering experts giving you quality assurance and guidance on how to improve them further. It runs, uh, uh, then runs a cross-reference of those stories, of that story against all the other stories in order to find potential duplicates and missing ones from within your set. 
It also identifies the functional size of each user story in ISO standard cosmic function points. And finally, it generates test scenarios that are the foundation of testing that when that story has been delivered, that you can ver ver verify that it's been ver delivered correctly. And those, those test scenarios are 100% traceable back to the original functional intent of the story. Now, as you can see, it's incredibly fast. It does hundreds of hours of work in, in, in a matter of moments. Um, and so is incredi incredibly useful to, to uh, project managers. And in this example here, we have 231,000 tests approximately having been run on 231 user stories. So that's 1,000 tests per user story. And that's a level of scrutiny that we just don't normally see when you do manual work on user stories. So let's break it down a little bit more detail. We have uh, the text of a user story is interpreted every word and the relationships between the words and the, and the various NLP techniques that we've applied can break it down into functional steps, understand the objects and the intent associated with each of those, uh, with, with that uh, functional step. And then we further break that down into the entries, exit, reason rights which constitute a formal ISO standard functional size measurement. So in this case, there are 10 in that right-hand column, 10 values in that right-hand column. So this is a 10 function point story. As a project manager, knowing the functional size is really valuable uh, to estimate and control uh, most aspects of your project. <clears throat> There's a very high correlation between functional size and the effort it takes to deliver a software project. And so that gives you the primary, uh, the primary metric that you need to manage software. Uh, we also find potential defects and we create the traceable stories, traceable uh, test scenarios. And this just takes next to no time at all. Compared with manual efforts to find and fix problems in user stories, Scopemaster is orders of magnitude faster. And the merits of finding them early, if you find a requirements problem during the requirements phase, it costs you a few bucks to do that. If you wait until you've hit production or you're already developing and then you have high levels of rework to fix those requirements problems later. So we're not just saving a few bucks, we're saving potentially tens of thousands of dollars by avoiding defects finding their way, requirements defects finding their way into production. What makes for a good user story? Well, there are about 10, 10 primary characteristics or attributes of a good, a good user story, a good requirement. And Scopemaster will help identify nine out of 10 of these, uh, of these attributes. So it's, it's covering quite a wide range of what makes up a good user story. Uh, finding missing ones before you start is particularly valuable because it helps you contain scope creep later. Scope master if you use throughout the project can also deal with scope vol de detect and, and display uh, scope volatility and scope quality over time as well. So important metrics for really getting under the skin of whether your requirements and whether your requirements are in the shape to deliver against. And because we know the functional intent of each user story, we can start to display these diagrammatically. So this is what we call a use case model diagram. And this is generated instantly and automatically from the results of the analysis of, of the software requirement. This gives incredibly powerful insight to not only the size, the complexity, potential problems. We have little orphan outliers here that are clearly a problem to be resolved. We've got something in red down the bottom. That's something to be resolved. So it gives the author of the requirements visual feedback to, to help them correct, correct these. Scopemaster does not write the code that you need to deliver the software, but it goes a long way towards informing the authors of the code how it might be done. Um, I mentioned earlier that functional size is an important metric on software projects. In fact, studies have shown that the 
correlation between functional size and actual effort uh, it takes to deliver a, a software user story is extremely reliable. So the point here is that automated estimates of functional size and cosmic function points is uh, far more reliable than debates about story points, which are um, an unreliable indicator of, of size and complexity. So as a project manager using Scope Master, you get three things. You get better user stories earlier, you get instant estimates using ISO standard sizing uh, methodology of cosmic function points, um, and you get auto test generation, so test scenarios generated automatically to help uh, accelerate your testing. So just leaves me to uh, uh, say thank you for your time and attention and to bear in mind that artificial intelligence has a significant potential contribution to, to software projects. Uh, this is what some of the industry leaders think about what we're doing. Um, if you'd like to know more, visit Scopemaster and we'll uh, get you going. Um, if you're interested in uh, the ISO standard cosmic sizing method, there's a link there to the measurement guide, which I can highly recommend. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your course.